Hi, my name is Henry Sagerman. These are numerically balanced uh, D20 dice by the Dice Lab. Uh, the Dice Lab is me and Robert Fathauer, and this is a joint project with Bob Bosch, who's at Oberlin College. So these look and roll like ordinary 20-sided dice. Um, the shape is a regular icosahedron. So what's special about these is the choice of where the numbers go. So um, for any, well, almost any D20 you're going to see, um, they follow the opposite sides add up to 21 rule. And in general, any dice that you see, the opposite sides are going to add up to one more than the number of sides. So why is it that that's the sort of convention for how dice are numbered? As far as we can tell, um, it's, it's about fairness. So, um, so you know, no physical die is going to be perfectly fair, and injection molded die, dice are not particularly fair compared to, you know, casino dice or so on. Um, so um, one way, one common way in which a, a die can be uh, unfair is it can be sort of squished. It can be like squished in one direction, so it's a little bit flattened out. It's a bit more like a coin than like a regular um, uh, polyhedron. And so if it's squished out, say, in the 120 uh, direction, then it's more likely if it's squished out that these two numbers, one of these two, two numbers is going to come up than any other number. And so the idea is, well, um, at least you're not going to be able to roll high or roll low. Uh, or you're not going to be biased in rolling high or low because the two most common numbers are going to be 1 and 20. So the average that you get is just the average of all of the numbers, which is, well, 10 and a half. So you don't win um, if you're squished. Um, you don't win rolling high or rolling low. So the idea with these dice is, well, there are other ways in which a die could be unfair. So not saying that this is the case for our dice, but suppose there was you know, a massive air bubble just under this vertex, which meant that, this, uh, that the numbers around this vertex were more likely to come up, because it was lighter on this, this side, than any other number. You could ask the same thing. You could ask, well, it should be the case that the numbers here don't help you, right? So if you know that one of these five numbers is going to come up, you don't know which one, you would like it to be the case that that, that doesn't mean that you're rolling high or that, that this die rolls high or rolls low. And that's what we've done for this, this die. So, um, so what does that mean? It means that if you add up all the numbers around each vertex and take their average, you know you're going to get one of these, but you don't know which one you're going to get. It's not rolling high and it's not rolling low. So what that means is uh, the sum of the numbers should be um, approximately um, the, the sum of the average number. So the average number on a d20 is 10 and a half. So if you add up five of those, then you get 52 and a half. Um, and well, obviously the sum of the numbers is not going to be 52 and a half because it's five integers, but we can require that it's either 52 or 53. And that is the case with uh, these dice. So let's just demonstrate that with them. Um, so, so here we got 10 and 20, that's 30. 4 and 16, that's another 20, so we're at 50 and 52. So this, this vertex, the average is, uh, uh, the sum is 52. Um, and then this one over here, again, we've got 30. And then let's see, 6 and 9 is 15, so that's uh, 45. And 8 gets you up to 53. So 53 on this vertex, 52 on this vertex. And you can check all of the others, they're either 52 or 53. Uh, not only that, um, but we also have, um, you know, so suppose that you knew that um, it was going to be one of the three faces next to um, any particular face, but you didn't know which one of these three faces it was going to be, then we're also balanced in that sense that you don't roll high and you don't roll low. So in that case, you, you want um, you know, three numbers. The sum of them should be the same as three times the average number that you get. So three times 10 and a half is 31.5. Um, so you, we want either 31 or 32. So let's see, so 10 plus 16 is 26, plus 6 is 32. And then if we look around the 10, 20 plus 2 is 22, and 9 is 31. So 31 for the, the faces next to the 10, 32 for the faces next to the 20. So, so it's balanced in all of these different ways all at the same time. And so Bob Bosch did the sort of optimization uh, calculations and computations to, to find a numbering which, which would have all of these nice properties. Um, just to compare with sort of the, the standard uh, D20, this is a Chessex D20. Um, so ours is a little bit bigger, but otherwise they're very similar. Um, and of course, the Chessex D20 has opposite sides adding up to 21, but um, doesn't have any of the other nice properties that, that we have in our, our dice.
So these are numerically balanced uh, D20 dice by the Dice Lab. Thanks for watching.